Hi guys, I'm, uh, I'm John Ward from Laser Ninja Productions, and I'm here at the Pangolin Laser Systems booth, and we're gonna show you how we can use the Camsys MQ80 lighting controller to interface directly with lasers via the Pangolin FB4 controller card. One of my favorite new features with the FB4 DMX profile is the ability to actually set up our safety zones and have them be retained throughout the session inside of our laser. So let's take a look at this. With the uh, lighting controller, what I'm gonna do is bring up my preamble channel and set it into a setup mode. Now, by default, I have a queue already set up, ready to go, that brings up my test patterns. So I can come over and say, let's take a look at our setup and let's change our test pattern so we can get an idea how our orientation is. And I can see by default that my orientation is off and I wanna go ahead and adjust these so that everything is in the correct orientation. So I can go into my lighting controller here and I'm gonna say, hey, let's take this second middle laser here. Let's take its position and let's fix it so that our X orientation is now correct, and our Y orientation is now correct. And let's maybe bring the X size down just a little bit. And let's do the same thing with our third laser. And let's adjust its orientation. So we can see we might need to adjust some uh, rotation on this. Now what's great is I've corrected the orientation of these lasers. Let's maybe adjust the Y position on our second laser one more time so that we are kind of equally spread apart. Now, what's really cool about this is once I'm done with my setup, I can exit my setup mode and those settings stay retained inside of the laser. I don't have to go back and reset my DMX channels or anything of that nature. So let's start triggering some cues and seeing what we can get this to do. So we've gone through our setup um, features already. Let's do some playback. So I'm gonna bring up a simple line pattern here. Now this is representative of a gobo inside of, you know, what you would see in a standard lighting fixture. What can we do with this? Oh, I don't know. Let's say we wanna to start to play along with the music here. The music really starts to thump, you know, bum, 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 bum. Now keep in mind, we're not using a laser software for this. Hey, look at that, the music they're playing, I was already, uh, lined up with this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a color fade so we have some special effects with that. Let's add a rotation to this and let's maybe do something like an intensity chase. So we now have all three separate lasers kind of doing you know your standard uh, fixture dim chase here. So what else can we do with this? Let's maybe add some strobing to this, maybe some scan rate changes. So now we've got some really cool atmospheric effects going. And then all of a sudden, here comes the slow part of the song. Let's go ahead and boom, bring up our grading. So now we've got this nice, really good valley who moment ready to go. And then we come to the crescendo, the end of the song. Let's go to page two. And I want to spotlight the audience or the band or whatever. So the new uh, uh, Burst Berries have a little bit of a uh, lighting fixture built into them so that we can kind of do some highlighting or some uh, some, you know, um, some hot spots or something like that, or pin spot lights. So, there, so here we go. That's some of the really cool stuff that we've got going on here with the MQ80 and uh, Pangolin's FP4 hardware controller interacting directly with it without a software in the middle. So if you guys are excited, come check it out over at uh, pangolin.com and see what we've got.